Hi, I'm Mojju, a solution architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enable Microsoft Active Directory as a source for your identities in AWS IAM Identity Center. On the agenda today, I will discuss the different types of identity sources supported by AWS IAM Identity Center. Next, I will explain why customers choose to use Active Directory as a source for AWS IAM Identity Center. Then, I will demonstrate how administrators can enable Active Directory as a source to provide single sign-on access to AWS accounts and business applications for their workforce. AWS IAM Identity Center helps you to securely create or connect your workforce identities and manage their access centrally across AWS accounts and business applications. IAM Identity Center is the recommended approach for workforce authentication and authorization on AWS for organizations of any size and type. Irrespective of where a customer is in their cloud journey, AWS IAM Identity Center provides customers the freedom to choose their source of identity from Microsoft Active Directory, external IDP like Okta, Azure AD, Ping, and other SAML 2.0 providers as listed on the screen, or customers can also choose to leverage the identity store inside AWS IAM Identity Center as a source for their identities. In this video, we will focus on Active Directory as a source for identities. If you would like to learn more about using Identity Store or an external IDP as a source for identities, please follow the links displayed on the screen. Let's talk about the use case for this video. The AWS IAM Identity Center access model allows customers to bring in their existing Active Directory credentials to provide single sign-on access to AWS accounts and Amazon EC2 instances. As you can see in the picture, administrators can continue managing users in either AWS Managed Microsoft AD hosted using AWS Directory Service or a self-managed AD hosted on Amazon EC2 or on-premises. Administrators can then assign predefined job function specific permission sets in line with the Active Directory groups. For example, if there is an AD group for all sys admins, administrators can assign the permission set system administrator to the AD group. Additionally, there might be situations where administrators have to create a hybrid group which combines database access with sysadmin access. In such cases, administrators can combine the sysadmin and database permission set to create a hybrid group just like it exists inside Active Directory. Overall, administrators can centrally grant and revoke access to workforce at scale across multiple AWS accounts through permission sets. Corporate workforce can log in to AWS IAM Identity Center and access AWS accounts and business applications. This enables your workforce users to reuse their existing Active Directory user ID password that they use to log in to their Windows workstations and other corporate applications to then log in to AWS IAM Identity Center to access AWS accounts and non-AWS resources. This provides a seamless way for your users to access such resources without having to remember another set of credentials and thereby reducing operational overhead related to password complexities. Before we head over to the AWS Management Console for demo, I would like to do a quick recap of Active Directory deployment options on AWS. Depending upon the use case and the type of trust needed, customers can choose from three different Active Directory deployment models on AWS. Customers can choose to run a self-managed AD hosted in a data center or on Amazon EC2. Then create a trust with AWS Managed Microsoft AD. This is applicable for business applications that require Kerberos authentication. For instance, Amazon RDS running Oracle and SQL Server or Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. For a complete list of applications compatible with AWS Managed Microsoft AD, please scan the QR code displayed on your screen. Or customers can use Active Directory Connector for services like Amazon Workspaces. AD Connector is a directory gateway with which you can redirect directory requests to your on-premises Microsoft AD without caching any information in the cloud. For a complete list of applications compatible with AD Connector, please scan the QR code displayed on your screen. Finally, 
Customers can also choose to run a standalone Active Directory with AWS managed Microsoft AD. Let's go ahead and look at the solution demonstration on how you can enable Active Directory as a source for AWS IAM Identity Center. Also, to make the synchronization between Active Directory and AWS IAM Identity Center simple and easy, I have created an Active Directory group with the name IAM Identity Center All Users and Groups, and I have added Finance, HR, and Identity Admin groups to that group. The benefit with this process is all the users, Arnav Desai, Maria Garcia, and John Doe will be directly added as part of the IAM Identity Center All Users and Groups inside AWS IAM Identity Center service. In order to start using Active Directory as a source for AWS IAM Identity Center, we have to enable the AWS IAM Identity Center when you go to the service for the first time inside AWS Management Console. I'll go ahead and do that by clicking on this Enable button that I see on my screen. Okay, as you can see, my AWS IAM Identity Center is now enabled and using AWS Organizations. Now let's go ahead and connect AWS Manage Microsoft AD to AWS IAM Identity Center. In order to do this, you go to AWS IAM Identity Center service, and inside that, click on go to settings. Inside settings, you can click on actions, and then select change identity source. This is where you will have the option to select either from a self-managed identity center directory, an external IDP, or the active directory, which is what we are going to do in this case. I clicked on active directory, and as you can see in the list of my existing directories, I can already see corp.example.com, which is what I have created as a prerequisite for this demo. I click on next, I'll enter accept, and I'll click on change identity source. This goes through a series of steps where AWS IAM Identity Center is disconnecting from the existing identity source and switching over to AWS directory service directory that you see on the screen. Okay, as you can see, Active Directory connected to AWS IAM Identity Center successfully. The next step would be we have to start going in and adding users and groups to our sync. Let's go ahead and see how that is achieved. In order to go ahead and start synchronizing users between Active Directory and AWS IAM Identity Centers, you go to the settings page. From there, you will click on actions. You'll click on manage sync. And then from here, you start adding users and groups. So the first thing to do here is you need to click on the add users and groups bar. This is where what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the IAM Identity Center group that I created inside my Active Directory. So I'll go ahead and provide the entire email alias for my IAM Identity Center group. Click on add. And then I select this. I click on submit. This will go ahead and synchronize the users and groups in my Active Directory. As you can see on your screen, our Active Directory users, Arnab Desai, Maria Garcia, John Doe, have been synchronized from Microsoft Active Directory to AWS IAM Identity Center. Similarly, their group memberships have also been synchronized. In the screen in front of you, you can see that there is finance, HR, Identity Admin, and IAM Identity Center, all users and groups. These were the groups and users that we created inside Microsoft AD before we began making changes inside AWS IAM Identity Center. Then we went ahead and did the configurable sync through which we were able to synchronize the users and let them flow into AWS IAM Identity Center. As a next step, we are going to go ahead and assign these users access to AWS accounts. For that, click on AWS accounts, and select the AWS account to which you want to give these users access. In my case, I'm going to select this account and click on Assign Users or Groups. I can see that I can select either via their group memberships or I can select individual users. In this case, I'll select individual users. So I'll select Maria. I'll click on Next. I'll give Maria billing access. Click on Next and I'll click on Submit. We will now perform the final step of the demonstration where we will log in as Maria Garcia into the AWS account that we provided access to Maria through the billing permission set. The first thing we need to do to perform this validation is copy the AWS access portal URL in a browser and hit enter. 
This will redirect us to the Active Directory sign-in page. This is where you provide the username. So in our case, the username is that of Maria's email alias. Click on Next and then enter Maria's password. Click on Sign In and this should take you to AWS IAM Identity Center sign-in portal. This is where you can expand on the list of AWS accounts available to Maria. I'll go ahead and click on Management Console link in the AWS IAM Identity Center access portal. And this should take me to the AWS account which Maria Garcia has access with the billing permission set. Let's summarize what we learned from this demo. First, I enabled Active Directory as an identity source for AWS IAM Identity Center. Next, I synchronized users and groups between Active Directory and AWS IAM Identity Center. Then, I assigned users and groups permissions to access AWS accounts. To complete the demo, I signed into the AWS Access Portal using Active Directory credentials and I was able to successfully log in to the AWS Management Console. Now that you have seen how simple it is to integrate your Active Directory users and groups to AWS IAM Identity Center, here are some more resources for you to go ahead and get started. If you would like to explore these resources further, feel free to pause the video at this point and scan the QR code. Thank you.